Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, we're taking a look at a cat tribal deck built around Kahira, the Orphan Guard, a 3 mana 3-2 three legendary cat beast with vigilance that if we want to run as our companion, each creature card in our starting deck has to be a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur or beast card and then each of those creature types will pick up plus one plus one and vigilance. So very powerful anthem effect if we can build around it properly. And I've tried a bunch of different Kahira decks, including a green version with more elementals and beasts. But at the end of the day, if we want to take full advantage of Kahira's anthem effect, we want to be going low to the ground with plenty of cheap creatures that all pick up the plus one plus one and vigilance. And that doesn't leave many options. So we just ended up with a mono white aggro deck essentially. And all of the creatures just happened to be cats. So it's not like I excluded any creature types here. So let's take a look at the entire deck, starting out with the 16 one drops, where we have four copies of a Charm Stray as a one mana, one one life linking cat that when we play it and it enters the battlefield, we can put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature we control named Charmed Stray. Then we've got the full playset of Garrison Cat as a 1 mana 1 1 cat that when it dies leaves behind a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. We've got the Sanctuary Cat as an arena exclusive, so you won't be able to play this card in a best of 3 environment since this is only legal in best of 1. And then we've got Twilight Panther which is essentially a Sanctuary Cat with an activated ability for 1 black mana to gain death touch until end of turn. And if you'll take a look at the mana base, we've got 4 Godless Shrine to enable the Panther's ability, but it's still a land that comes into play untapped and produces white mana, because it's very important in this deck that we can empty our hand of all these cheap 1-drops, so playing an actual Swamp would be detrimental to that strategy. Then moving up the curve, at 2 mana we've got the full playset of Ajani Sprite Mate. Don't have a ton of life gain synergies in this deck, but even just a 2 mana 2-2 two -two that will occasionally pick up a plus 1 plus 1 counter is good enough. And then we've got Hero of the Pride as a 2 mana 2-2 two -two cat soldier, and whenever we cast a spell that targets the hero, creatures we control get plus 1 plus 0 oh until end of turn. And important to note here is that Mutate will also trigger the Hero of the Pride, so if we mutate one of the 8 mutate creatures onto the hero, it will still trigger the ability, which is very nice. And then at 3 mana, of course, we're going to be playing Kahira most of the time. So whenever we're playing a companion deck where we're planning on casting the companion on curve, we can kind of leave a gap at that mana cost. But we still have two copies of Lurus of the Dream then, as a 3 mana, 3 2 legendary cat nightmare with a lifelink. We're not playing it as a companion in this deck, but we can still, during each of our turns, cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost 2 or less from our graveyard, which is still a pretty nice ability. And then for 3 mana we could also mutate the Huntmaster Liger, but usually we're more interested in uh, deploying more stuff to the board and only mutate this to close out the game. But it is still pretty powerful since whenever we mutate this, other creatures we control get plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is the number of times this creature has mutated. So if we mutate the first Liger, all creatures get plus 1 plus 1. If we mutate a Liger onto an existing Liger, all creatures will get plus 2 plus 2 twice, so they all get plus 4 plus 4, so it does stack nicely. I even had a game at some point where I mutated the Liger for the third time, so all my creatures got plus 9 plus 9, which uh, definitely won me the game. So it is a pretty powerful effect if we can stack it, and then it also synergizes nicely with our next mutate creature, the Cub Warden, as a 4 mana 3 5 life linking cat that we can mutate for 2 and double white, and whenever this creature mutates, we get to make 2 1 1 white cat creature tokens with a life link. So those synergize very nicely with the go white theme and the anthem effects from the Liger and Kahira, and the life linkers also play well with the Ajani Sprite Mate, of course. And last but not least, we have the full playset of Conclave Tribunal as the main removal spell in the deck that we can also convoke, and then when the Tribunal enters the battlefield, we can exile target a non-land permanent and opponent controls until the Tribunal leaves the battlefield. And Tribunal and Convoke just synergize nicely with the whole uh, Go White theme, since we have so many cheap creatures that can tap to help us convoke. And it also plays well with the Vigilance that Kahira gives, since we can potentially attack and then our second main phase still tap all those Vigilant creatures to help pay for the Convoke cost. And then, uh, yeah, the deck just ended up being a mono-white deck. I've tried fitting in other colors. There's a lot of cool cats and kittens in other colors. Think of the Leosaur in red or the Fleece Mane Lion in green. But the problem is usually just a mana base. If we want to include those other colors, then we're going to end up with way too many tap lands or 
Sometimes we won't be able to curve out with all these cheap one drops. So we just ended up with 18 planes and four godless shrine to enable the Twilight Panther's ability. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play facing a Lurus deck. Well, I guess we'll keep fine hands. Would love to pick up a Conclave Tribunal at some point in case we're up against a Sacrifice deck. Because then we'll need to get rid of Lurus before they get too much value. I don't know why the Garrison Cat has a lion sound effect when it enters the battlefield. But uh, here we are. Alright, so our point appears to be on the cycling deck. Probably play Hero of the Pride instead of Pride Mates. Because we might end up going Kahira into Mutate the Cub Warden, and then I can make use of the hero's ability. Don't have any lifelink going on for the Pride Mate just yet. Yeah, I think uh, playing Kahira is fine here. Opponent takes five, but now they're gonna start making a bunch of chum blockers, so the rescuer is also pretty annoying. Alright, so can mutate Warden onto the hero. And then attack with the Garrison Cat hero. Does Kahira attack? Probably not. Or I could mutate onto Kahira. 3 5. They could still double block it. Now let's just mutate onto the hero. And then we're hoping to pick up more uh, mutate creatures, especially the Leosaur would be powerful here. So I've got a 5-5 five, five Flourishing Fox, which holds off the Cub Warden, but there's Tribunal, perfect. Get rid of the fox and attack with everyone. All right, and our opponent concedes. Awesome, so managed to beat the cycling deck. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine hand. Plenty of lifelink synergy to go with the pride mate too. Let's see what our opponent's playing. Blue-green. 
So they could be on a flash deck, or this might just be a growth spiral. Uh, probably a good turn for another Pride Mates. And then next turn we can maybe deploy Kahira. They do appear to be teamers, so if this is a Storm's Wrath, we're gonna be sad. Probably a teamer reclamation deck. So this Kahira is getting countered if we play it. Would I rather play Lurus? Maybe. And wait another turn on Kahira. Uh, they're gonna flame sweep to kill the stray. The Dusky Prime Mate within Storm's Wrath range if they were just missing red mana. But this is just too efficient not to. No Storm's Wrath, please. Alright, didn't have it, and we got there. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play against a Lurus deck. We've got a fine hand. Turn one healer sock, so this could be the mono white aggro variant. Probably play Hero of the Pride here. So we've got options. Opponent could be holding a Karametra's Blessing, so even if I pump the hero, they could still block and kill it without losing the Alsaid. I think I like... attacking here and then... just playing Lurus. Solid footing on the healer sock. They might put a uh, all that glitters on it. Could also hunt master Liger instead of Kahira, but Kahira seems fine. And then next turn I can mutate the Liger onto the hero to pump the team. Sentinel's Mark for Vigilance means that uh, solid footing now deals damage equal to toughness rather than power. So that is an issue. Now the Panthers can still attack, but this is a race we're losing long term. Probably still mutate the Liger. So just gotta hope to top deck Conclave Tribunal here and hope they don't have the Karmatra's Blessing. Could also be that to all that glitters. There it is. Yeah, if they can load up on a flying creature and we don't draw a Tribunal, we're gonna have a hard time. On to the next one. On the play, facing an Umori deck. Ah, uh, sure. 
So if they're a mutate deck, Tribunal's pretty key interaction. And then Langer plus Hero synergize well. I don't think I've actually ever drawn the second charm stray, so that's a first. But I might still play hero here. Paradise roots might be difficult to remove. Wow, two more charm strays. That's lucky. And then next turn we could mutate the Liger onto the hero, can play Kahira. We'll see. It's gonna be a great horn, so we won't be able to tribunal the Paradise Roots. But I can mutate the Liger onto the hero. Let's see, if I attack with everyone, they block here. They would take 13, so not quite lethal. So I'll just send like this. And then we still have a Kahira in our back pockets. And our opponent explodes, Charmstray getting the job done. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Time for Sanctuary Cat. Oh yes. And Garrison Cat with a lion sound effect. Crystal and Giants gains Death Touch. Alright, let's just tribunal that. And next turn we can mutate the Cub Warden, make some tokens. Kahira down. Could play hero first to then mutate onto, but this seems better. And then we just want to draw more anthem effects. The Liger would be great. Gonna be Flame Spill taking out Cub Warden after a Blazing Volley, so they might be playing the Pestilence Spirit combo. Alright, let's uh, mutate again. But the fact that my opponent's playing Blazing Volley is not a good sign for all these 1 1 tokens. Chandra Sparrow Helix. So yeah, definitely looks like a Pestle and Spirit deck. Opponent draws with Castle. Can they find Spirit plus Burn Spell? Well, there's a spirit. Do they have a blazing volley left over? Doesn't seem like it. If they have a pyrohelix, they can kill these two and still take lethal, so 
Let's go for it. And castle for the honorable uh, death here. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing another Umori deck. And yeah, this hand seems fine. Double charm stray. We've got the tribunal for removal and then uh, plenty of one drops to pick up the bonus from Kahira. So this could be a good turn for Tribunal. Could play Kahira and then Tribunal. Yeah, that's probably the play. Alternatively, I could Garrison Cats, Tribunal and get in for two. But this seems more efficient. Symbiote and her opponent passes. So they could have the octopus, they can play it in some speed here. But that seems fine. Probably want to go Cub Warden mutate into Liger mutate instead of the other way around. I guess I'll send in Stray for the life gain. Opponent takes it. And next turn all our creatures will get plus two plus two if the Cup Warden's still there. And that should be game. Depending on what they hit with uh, Sterix. Opponent on the teamer version with uh, Iluna most likely. Just found a land. Don't think that's gonna cut it. Did not mean to put it over, but it doesn't matter here. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Fine opening hand. Could use an extra 1-drop or a 2-drop to curve out a little bit better. Opponent's got to read the Sanctuary Cat. Not too much text on that one. Alright, so opponent is on a cycling deck, maybe. Maybe a slightly more controlling variant. I could play Kahira, not very likely to survive. Could mutate a Liger. And even if they kill the creature in response, I'll still get the 3-4 in play. And then wait on playing Lurus until we can maybe get value right away. Gets disputed, sure. Oh, 
Wilderness Reclamation. Okay. We'll attempt to Tribunal here. Sign calls a neutralized, didn't have a double blue. Cycles another one. So the opponent's probably still playing Zenith Flare, is my guess. Which is why they're still playing all these cycling cards. Shark Typhoon probably in their deck as well. Ah, still has the Flourishing Fox. I guess Reclamation means you can cycle twice as much in the same turn. Who knows. I see another good Tribunal targets. So let's mutate onto Garrison Cats. Grow the Pride Mates, and next turn Kahira is looking good. Alright, and our opponent concedes. It's a bit of a different take on the cycling deck. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Could use an extra land, but we're on the draw, so we should be able to find one. Opponent appears to be mono green so far. Intruder. Alright. If they block with the Grazer, I think I'm fine giving Death Touch and I'm just playing the Garrison Cats. Opponent takes it. Do have to watch out that the intruder doesn't kill my tribunal. For now, I'll just play more cheap creatures before I play Kahira. So Kahira is more impactful the turn we play it. Could also mutate Kaborden before we play Kahira. Opponent's not doing much, maybe missing a land. Renata. Sure. Yeah, I guess mutating cardboard and sounds good. If I attack, they could double block and kill it. So let's just Tribunal. And then we still have the Pride made on defense to protect the Tribunal. And back up Renata. Oh wow. Yeah, let's go deep. Let's make more tokens. Do I want to trade if they double block? Eh, 
not really. Although then I could send in the tokens, they could eat the tokens, and then this gets to attack. Nah, this seems fine. Keep as many creatures as possible for when we play Kahira. Opponent takes it. Not sure how they get out of this. Don't think Racer's gonna do it. Titanic Brawl kills the Cup Warden, sure. It's an actual fight, unlike, let's say, a ram through, so we still gain a life and grow the Pride Mates. And Kahira should be game here. Alright, GG's. Opponent might not have been playing the most competitive deck, but at least we got to see the double Cup Warden mutation to make a bunch of tokens. All right. So overall, this mono white Kahira aggro deck, it's okay. It's of course soft to sweeper effects, doesn't have a ton of staying power unless we can play Allurus afterwards to keep playing stuff out of the graveyard. So this is definitely all in, but at least it does what it's uh, meant to do pretty well with just being aggressive, playing a lot of one drops and then Kahira being an excellent way to pump the team. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. Want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.